seem to be working really well. Big sand on that one. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> So today we have the Asuga with the Skeeter wheels and tires. I can't remember where I saw this, whether it was on a Facebook post or a picture or a video, but somewhere along the lines I, I saw the idea of doing this and somebody said that it actually works really well. So I figured, well, I've only brought the Asuga out here once before. Let me bring it out again and let me try these tires and see how it performs. It does give it a wider stance because the wheels have uh, a bit of an offset. And it does look pretty tough. I have to admit, I like the look of it. So, I'm on success. Let's see what we can do. Holy. <laughs> yeah, me likey. Me likey. It's a bit of a truggy, but not really. It's a bit of a monster truck, but not really. And it also has the buggy sort of handling to it very different and definitely a good alternative for anybody that um, doesn't like the stock wheels and tires on the Asuga I think this will work quite well he's tearing it up <laughs> Alrighty, let's do some jumping. Wow. Save that. Oh, sorry. I've got flies all over me today. They're just being so annoying. They weren't here the other day, but they're definitely here today. So everything on this car is stock except for the uh, wheels and tires, XT150s because that's just the connectors I use, and I've got my DX5C hooked up to it, and that's it. I haven't cha changed shocks or diffs or anything like that. Punch setting is still standard, but uh, I am running... Um, yeah. Sorry to disturb you. Sorry about that. I uh, had a guy come up to me and ask me about cars for his kid for Christmas. So just had to give him a bit of a spiel on what to get and what to avoid. Um, but yes, we were talking about what I've changed on the car. So everything is stock except XT150s, the radio, and I've bumped up the voltage on the servo to 7.4 volts via the ESC. Uh, and that's really it. And of course, as I said, we've got the uh, Skeeter tyres on here, which seem to be working really well. Big sand on that one, off the little jump. Man, I really like it. You get so much more air control too. I think this is a highly recommended uh, mod for the Asuga. All right, before we lose battery, let's go on the big jumps. Tell you what, these tires actually work well. I, don't... I haven't uh, driven my Skeeter in a while because it's it's been in a sick bay with a couple of broken bits and a, and a busted up body since I ran it last time. I've only just recently fixed it. Oh, is it going to come around the other side? Yes. I've only just recently fixed it and put a new body on it, but then I found that one of the shocks. It must have been from an impact to, on the pit or something. One of the shocks has got a massive ding in it. So I gotta <laughs> I gotta try and uh, replace that and then I, I might bring the speeder out again because I've I haven't driven it in so long I forgot what it's like. Oh it wouldn't rotate. 
I had it pinned and it just would not rotate. I saved that at the last minute. Let me try it again. It won't rotate. What a prick. Maybe it needs more speed or something? It like it rotates flat on its back and it just holds. It's like it's got some kind of gyro limiting how much it goes. That's weird. That's so weird. Like it's done it twice. I'll see if I can do it again. It just I pin the throttle, it gets flat on its back and it doesn't do it doesn't go any further. <laughs> I tried to recover that one, that was bad. I hope I haven't made a mess of that. I probably should have held it, to be honest. Oh, I made an absolute mess of that. God, I hope I haven't busted anything, because it was going so well. Let's see. Okay, I did bend the shock tower ear right there. I was fearing that. But aside from that, I mean... I mean, I can fix that with a hammer. The shock tower doesn't concern me. The shock's still on there. It's not going to handle great, but it's good to go still. Maybe I shouldn't try doing that again. That's pretty amazing. I'm impressed. Yet another upside down landing through the Team Corelli car. Oh, pit, pit, pit. Someone said in the comments, you know, when are they ever going to fix that pit? And uh, I jokingly said, when some kid accidentally, oh, when some kid accidentally cracks his head on it and the council gets sued, that's when they'll fix it. But, you know, as much of a joke as that is, holy. I wonder if it bent the shock tower back the other way. As much of a joke as that is, that can be very much a harsh reality. Because this is not safe. I mean, there's people, kids here on BMX bikes. All it takes is a kid to roll over and crack his head on it. It's not great. All right, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's time. Bit of a messy first jump. Let's hope we can do better than that. Oh, I missed it. Went a bit too far to the le to the right on the first one, a bit too far to the left on the second one. All right, third time's a charm. Third time is a charm. Oh yeah! Oh my god! Do we have a breakage? Something, something's going on with this with this wheel? Or is it just my imagination? Wait, what's happening? How come? Oh, oh, oh no, we have a breakage. Yes we do. We have a breakage. There it is. I knew something was going on. So I've actually split this top arm. Oh, what a bummer. When did that happen? Maybe I smashed it in the upside down landing or something and I didn't even realize. That's a bummer. Look at that. Is that it? Oh, I'm not going to be able to get that. Yeah. Oh well, I think I might have to end it here. Bummer. I wonder if it was when I did the upside down landing. I was noticing something wasn't right with that front wheel. And uh, yeah, there we go. So yeah, what a bummer. Gonna have to get a new arm and uh, fix that uh, buckle on the shock tower, which is not a big deal. I can just hammer that straight, I'm not concerned with that. But yeah, the, <laughs> I must have done something. But man, this thing can fly. I highly recommend these wheels and tires on this car. I think I might have to get myself another set or just get an alternative for the Skeeter 
and keep these on here because I really like these wheels on here. They look great and the car handles fantastic and it, my God, this thing flies for days. So that's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. Sorry I couldn't uh, deliver too much on the Superman jump. I had a bit of bad luck today, but I'm sure the uh, Suga will be back another time and uh, prove its worth once again. That's it for me. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.